quick little tutorial video. Because if you're like me, and you've been messing with Skyrim, Sur Skyrim Special Edition Survival Creation Club content, which was free for quite some time, but now actually does cost you some money, or credits, you've fallen in love with it. And the problem is, trying to get survival mode playing well with all your other mods is, uh, let's just say, not the easiest thing in the world. So, what I'll be doing later on today, or tomorrow, when I have some free time, because I'm actually work going to work in about 40 minutes, is showing you how to actually make, uh, how to do merge patches, well, how to make a merge mod in F in SE edit, um, how to, you know, make patches for the Creation Club content. Like, if you get a Creation Club mod, not specifically survival mode, but survival mode if you like, and you want to modify it to your own needs, I'll show you how to do that in, in SS edit. But in order to get there, you have to actually get the Nexus mod manager, uh, which is not getting any more updates because they're working on Vortex. And you have to get SS Edit to actually recognize um, the ESL files, which uh, the community is not being very forthright with. Maybe because there's something of a uh, hatred for the Creation Club, though I've said on a number of cases that it's not a bad thing. So I'm always for promoting the Creation Club and getting people to like support mod authors who are actually being hired by Bethesda. Because that's what we all want to do. We as mod authors want to be recognized for our talents and hired by Bethesda. And that's what the Creation Club does. So, with that said, you're going to need to update your Nexus Mod Manager with a... What would be the proper term? It's not an unofficial patch. It was created by the people who made the Nexus Mod Manager. But it's not a supported patch. Uh, I will read the actual starting post right here from Mr. Mason, an admin at the Nexus. As you are hopefully aware, we are busy working our new mod manager, Vortex, and have officially stopped supporting NMM. We have, however, taken some time to release version 0.63.17, which is supporting for SKSE64 and ESL plugins. Because, of course, SKSE64 has recently come out. Please be aware that the latest release is not fully code signed as our certificate has elapsed, so you will need to accept any warnings that Windows throws at you. Change log link, direct download link. Link, of course, is up here at the top. You can, of course, Google it. When I put this up on BoobTube, there will be links in the description below. Direct download link is right there. And literally, it's just like installing any other thing. You do an up, an, um, a standard install. These to updates are totally unsupported of us, and we still have no intention of releasing any more updates to NMM. Hopefully they won't need to, because they've got ESL support. There are some problems here. Because they're working on Vortex, and because this isn't officially supported, if we pop over to 0.63.17 and we go over to the plugins list, you might notice something. It won't let me move files. Now, you can move files, but at some point it stops allowing you to move files. I think it has something to do with Creation Club. So, if I close this down and open up a alternate copy I have of the uh, standard release. So yes, I had to install it twice. I had to install the Nexus Mod Manager twice. One with the standard install that doesn't support the Creation Club, and one with um, the the patch. So you're going to need two versions of your Nexus. As you can kind of see here, it doesn't it doesn't the standard install 63.14 does not recognize ESL at all it does not show up here but as you will notice here no let me pull this down i can rearrange my load order as need be you know it's just saying this mod has been disabled and whatnot so that's fine that's what you're gonna have to do if you need to rearrange your mod order i know kind of annoying but it's not that bad. So I go and open up the other one, let it relaunch Skyrim Special Edition.
So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to have two copies of your Nexus Mod Manager. And as you can see right down here, Creation Club content is right up there. There's no red flagging here. And the two mods that I moved are down at the bottom of my load order. That's all you really need to do. It is a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can you do? What can you do? Now, the other thing you're going to need is that if you want to be able to make mods that are recognized by test edit, by X edit, whatever you want to call it, you're going to need the new version of SS edit. Now, the one available on the actual Nexus is only 3.2. You actually have to go to the GitHub for test edit to get 3.2.1. 3.2.1 include support for ESL. And this one you can completely replace. There's no reason not to get this and replace your standardized version. And then it's just standard install rules for test, for test edit. So we pop over to my K drive and I download a test edit here. I called it 3.2.1 and that's the standard file structure you get for test edit. And of course, like with test edit, uh, you guys may know this, you may not, but I'm going to mention it here just for ease. So for each version of the game, you're going to need to make a subfolder because you need to rename the executable. When it comes to test edit, so for example, Fallout 4, you have to rename the test edit file to FO4 edit. That's the only way that Nexus will recognize it and be able to and be able to run it. Same thing with SSE edit. You have to rename it to SSE edit.exe. So you have to rename test edit to that name. I put it into two separate folders. I suppose in theory, in theory, I haven't tested this, but in theory, there's no reason why you can't just put, Where? you can't just duplicate Where? that file there, rename them in this master folder. There's no reason you can't. I just haven't tested it. I like to keep things a little bit more separated and organized. But once you've done that, all you have to do is go up to your Nexus Mod Manager. It'll have configure uh, SS edit. Uh, I'll right click to show you it. And you simply locate where it's located. In my case, it's in my K drive. I'm going to my SSE edit folder, select OK. And then I can launch SSE edit. And as you can see right there, Creation Club content ESL files are listed here. I can load into it. There's not going to be any error prompting. It's not going to say uh, you don't have any missing masters. It'll load just fine. And that's about all you need to know, folks. That's as complicated as it gets for getting your Creation Club content playing nice with your other mods. So what I'll be doing uh, when I get some free time, when I come back from work or tomorrow or whatever, what I'll be basically showing you is how to manually create a uh, merge file. Because you can see here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different files all related to patching survival for my particular um, likes. So what I'll basically take is all of these things, merge them into one master file so I can kill five ESPs from my load order. Because you always want to kill as many uh, as many e easy ESPs as you can. Um, and that way I'll, and I'll also show you during that process, like all of the nuances of the creation of like, of the actual survival mode. Again, I, I'm using survival mode as an example because it's the only ESL I have. But um, it's also the most complicated one out there because it adds like warmth and like hunger and whatnot. And so like going through this, we'll see things like survival, food restores hunger for, and whatnot. And we've kind of kind of all play with those, get them all merged into one file, bunch together. Same thing with armors. Armors have extra keywords. That's basically how it determines warmth and whatnot. Um, it's interesting that when I was messing with it earlier before, for some bizarre reason, it wasn't actually showing warmth. It's a, if you're actually using SkyUI, I'll give you this one last bit of advice. SkyUI's official documentation says that their current version, which I think is, what, 3.2. It's easy enough to check. So let me pop over to the mods list for SkyUI. So I was running the version previous to their most recent version. Yeah, 5.2. I was using 5.1 previously. The weird thing is 5.2 says in their documentation it's supposed to be have better support for survival, yet 5.1 actually showed warmth in the inventory screen. So I may have to roll back to 5.1 and see if... But I was also having, like, crashing issues, which is why I basically uninstalled everything and I'm 
rebuilding these things slowly. So I'm not sure if the actual crashing issues I was having in my earlier tests were because of SkyUI 5.1 or something else. So I'm gonna try rolling back SkyUI 5.1, see if that, if I'm still, ha if the game's still stable. And if it is, I'll probably run with 5.1 because it actually shows the warmth values, which are useful when you're running a survival game. Uh, and then I'll continue working my way through the other stuff to get the other mods enabled for my new survival Let's Play that I'm working on. But other than that, folks, I hope this provides you with useful information. I hope you now know what you need to do in order to get your Creation Club content and your standard content to play nice with each other, how to get Nexus Mod Manager to work, so on and so forth. And I will see you all in the future.